This is a tutorial for August 22nd's lesson on whole number place value. So the goal of this lesson is that you will be able to read, write, and say whole numbers to the millions place. So for this you are going to want your place value chart out, which looks something like this, and we're going to be just working today to the millions place. So remember we have the ones family, we have the thousands family, and we have the millions family. And why that is important is that when you get to the comma, you say that family's name, except for in the case of the ones family. So you just look at the digits that you have in that area, in that family. Sometimes we call this a period instead of a family. So we look at the millions family, and we, all we see is a seven. So we say seven. We get to the comma, we say the family name millions, seven million. And then we get then we say the next family, four hundred two, we say the comma, thousand, because that's the thousands family. And then we simply say this number six hundred thirty nine. So we'll say that again, seven million four hundred two thousand six hundred. 39. We want to be careful of not saying the word and because we actually save the and for the decimal point for when we get into the decimal area, which we're not there yet. So we want to be careful and say 7,402,000 instead of 400 and 2,000, 402,369. So to be able to say it helps us to write it in word form. So let's take a look at this number. This is a smaller number, so it's easier. So we have our ones family here. We have our thousands family. And we have nothing in the millions family. So we say just what we see here, 5,426. 5,426. And then that is exactly what you write for word form. So we would say 5,426. So if it asks you to write it in word form, first say it, and then just simply write the words that you are saying. So here's another one. This is a bit bigger. We have three families represented now. We have the ones family, we have the thousands family, and we have the millions family. So when we get to this comma, we'll say millions. When we get to this comma, we'll say thousands. So we simply read what we see in the family. 3,209,000, 823. So then if we're doing word form, we just write that. Three million, and now we're here, 209, don't even worry about the thousand yet, just 209, 209, and then we're here, thousand, say the family name, and then we just say this, and we don't say the family name in the ones, we wouldn't say 823 ones, we just say 800. 23. Now, writing it in numbers, as a reminder, that is standard form. And then, of course, what we just wrote was word form. And then our last way to, that we've learned to write numbers is expanded form. So with expanded form, you take each digit and its value separately. So we're going to start with our digit in the largest place value. So this is the millions place. And if you forget, you can always go back to your chart, the millions place. And so we're going to put a parenthesis. We're going to say three times one million. So we're taking apart the entire number. That is expanded form. We're expanding it. 
1 million, okay, plus we have the 2, which is in the hundred thousands place. Remember, you can refer here, the hundred thousands place. So we're going to write 2 times 100,000, and you can see it's one, two, one. It's the same number of zeros as there are digits after that number. So this number right here is worth 200,000. And so we're writing two times 100,000. Put our plus sign, our parentheses. Now there's this is a zero. We get to skip that. You don't have to write zero times 10,000. There is a zero in the 10,000s place, but it's a zero. So it has no value. So we're going to go to the next digit and we're going to write 9 times it's in the 1000s place. You see how that's 1000? It's in the 1000s place. Put our plus. Now we're on our 8. It's in the 100s place. Now we're on the 2. It's in the 10s place. And then we have the 1 and it's in the ones place. So you're taking each digit and timesing it by the place value that it is to show the entire value of that digit. And you need to do it in order. And if you come across a zero, you skip it because it does not have it does not hold value. So here we have our standard form, our word form, and our expanded form. Three different ways to show a number. Now sometimes you'll have the number in word form and you need to write it in standard form. So this is just writing the number normally. So we read it to ourselves. We say 81,000. Okay, so we know we're going to be starting with the thousands family. 261. We have nothing in the millions place. So what I'm going to do is put lines. Here's my thousands family and my ones family. Okay, so 81,000. So I have nothing in the hundreds, hundred thousands place. So it says 81,000. I want to make sure that it matches. 81,000, 81,000. Yes, now I'm on the final family, the ones family, 261. So I simply write 261. And then I read it back to myself to make sure. 81, thousand two hundred sixty one and I go back up here eighty one thousand two hundred sixty one so I'm double checking that my answer matches that my standard form matches my word form okay and then if I was going to write this in expanded form I'm going to work off of this so I'm going to start with the eight and I'm going to go eight times it's in the it's in the ten thousands place, so I times it by ten thousand. Use your place value chart if you need to remember what the place values are. Plus, now I'm on the one. One times it's in the thousands place, so I times it by a thousand. Plus, now I'm on the two. It's in the hundreds place, so I times it by a hundred. I'm on the six. It's in the tens place, so I times it by the ten. I'm on the 1, it's in the 1's place, so I times it by the 1. Then I have expanded form. Okay, if you would like to pause and practice this on your own, you can, and then unpause it. I'm going to go over this. Okay, I'm going to go over it in. So we have standard form. This is standard form. I'm going to write it in word form first, which means I'm going to practice saying it. Okay, that's not, I'm trying to say do two things at once, and that doesn't make any sense. Standard form, not standard worm. Okie dokie. So I'm going to say it first and then write it in word form after that. So I have three families represented. I have the millions family, the thousands family, and the ones family. So I start with the millions family, and I just say the number. Seven. Seven million. Seven million and then I can even put the comma there. Now I'm in the thousands family. I just say what number I see. I see 94. So 94, I say the family name, thousand. 
And then I just say the family, 836. Remember, we don't say ones. We, we don't say the family name for the last one. We simply say it, 836. 836. I double check it. 7,094,000. Eight hundred thirty-six looks good. Now, if we were to do it in expanded form, we're going to take one digit at a time. Seven. It's in the millions place, so I go seven times one million. Now I'm on the zero. I don't have to do it. It's a freebie. So I go to the nine. Nine. It's in the ten thousands place. Remember to use your place value chart if you're not sure of the place value. Now I'm on the four. Don't forget your parentheses. Don't forget your addition symbols in between because we're going to expand it apart. I'm on the four. The four is in the thousands place. Now I'm on the eight. The eight is in the hundreds place. Now I'm on the three. What place is the three in? It's in the tens place. Get my plus sign in there, my addition symbol. Now I'm on the final number, the six, which is in the ones place. And there we have it in expanded form. We have seven million. We have nine ten thousands. I'm just checking my work here because we should always check your work. Four is in the thousands place. Eight is in the hundreds place. Three is in the tens place. And six is in the ones place. Now, finally, you might see it in expanded form, and you have to write it in standard form. So you want to look at your first number. We see it's in the millions place. So what I'm going to do is write out my lines starting with the millions place, because I know my first number is going to go in the millions place, and then I have to fill in all the families after that. So my 4 is in the millions place. I'm going to put a 4 there. I'm done with that one. Now, this should actually be not a 2. This should actually be a 1. We never have a non-1 number there. Okay, it's always powers of 10, so we're always timesing it by 10, 100, 1,000. Okay, so the 3 is in the 100,000th place. This is the 100,000th place. We're going to put a 3 there. Now, the 6, be careful here, because look at this. The 6 is in the 1,000th place. This is not the thousands place. That's the ten thousands place. This is the thousands place. So the six goes there. There was nothing in the ten thousands place. There's no ten thousands here. So we're going to put a zero there. All right. Then we move on. The seven is in the hundreds place. Here's my hundreds place. The eight is in the ones place. There's nothing that says something times ten. So nothing was in the tens place. So to say again, when you're doing this, when you're going from expanded form to standard form, you want to look at what you have first, draw that family. So we have, that's the million. And then draw three lines for each family after that, for the thousands and the ones, and then fill it in as you work through the problem. Okay, so I hope that that would help you with your homework a little bit if you needed some help. And that is a quick tutorial on being able to read, write, and say whole numbers to the millions place.